I want to do a what's in my work bag video. Now this is like an old school YouTube video and I have been wanting to do a what's in my bag forever. I watch them all the time, I don't know why, I'm just obsessed. I think it's because I'm really nosy. Uh, I think you can tell a lot about what someone does in their bag, I guess. For those of you who don't know what I do, I work in publishing in London and today my bag is actually quite heavy so this is my bag um, and also one of the great loves of my life um, I've got a Konkan Classic bag um, I also have the 17 inch laptop one um, but this one in okra or Van Gogh yellow as I like to call it um, is like I love this bag because it's really sturdy it's so comfortable because they're expensive and when I like invested in it I like sent a message to my mom saying you know it does mean I've grown up now because I'm not getting bags from accessories that just break within a year um, and my mom said I wasn't growing up I was just finally being sensible which I think is is growing up really so with the classic Konkan you have a bag in the front um, and two little side pockets um, and I'm going to start on the outside but I guess I should mention my pins on the front of my bag first I picked these two up this is an I, I like big books tell me what you're reading both of these are from Waterstones and they were both in the Waterstones sale. They're like £1.50 and I really love them. And then this one is from the Literary Emporium and it's Female Writers and it has all of my favourite writers on. Um, Austin, Bronte, Wolf and Plath. So I'm going to start in the side pocket and here I have my umbrella. The weather in London and I'm sure pretty much the all of England is really muggy. It's so humid and I feel like we're going to have a rainstorm. Um, and it did say that we were forecast rain so at the moment I'm keeping my umbrella here. These pockets are also a bit awkward for a water bottle. I always have my water bottle with me and it's a weird shape as you'll see in a minute. Um, but I just can't find a water bottle that's actually like thin enough um, to fit in but I kind of would like one so that's in that pocket so I have fountain pen this fountain pen is just a basic one from Paper Chase I tend to just keep it there because it's a pen that I use at home and at work um, but mostly at work and then oh look two things got my sunglasses um, I actually picked up these at the Imperial War Museum so I don't know where they're from um, but yeah it's been sunny and as you can tell I've got massive eyes and they're just super sensitive to the sun so if I don't have these I'm like blinded by the sun when I'm walking and then I have my travel card this is from Cap Kidson it's their part of like their London collection and inside I have my oyster um, my travel card smart card and my season ticket um, I often lose things I mean having something like this makes it less likely that I'm gonna lose it I am prone to losing my debit card and so this means that if I lose my debit card I still have a method of getting home uh, so I will never just use or just rely on my debit card to do both my travel and like shopping and everything else. Now I'll show you what's in my front pocket. My keys. Obviously I need these to get into my flat. It makes sense to me that they are in the front pocket because I can just reach in and grab them. Um, yeah, I have several keys for the flat. Um, on my key ring, I have this, which my mum made. It's like a book. Um, she, my mum says everything. Like This is at the very beginning of her sewing journey. But since doing this, she has made a reflective jacket for our dog like skirts, tops, um, and she's going to make me a book bundle or book buddy. Um, and I also have a D20, um, if you're not like a massive geek, you use them to play like D&D and games like Magic the Gathering. And I got it when me and Ben went to, well, Ben went to an expo called Dragon Meat for the first time. Um, and I came with him to support and I brought him and his friends uh, just to Kieran because I thought it was quite cute. I'm going to try and do this front pocket quickly, I'm just going to get it all out and then show it to you. What the hell? I have the charity pot from Lush. Um, this is the little one um, that you get if you donate to their charity. I then have my headphones. I got these off Amazon um, because I really wanted wireless headphones. But I couldn't afford the like Apple AirPods or AirPods, um, earbuds, AirPods, earbuds, 
those you know the white ones that everybody wears them for um, Amazon for 30 pounds and they're good like they're fine um I use them all the time they charge in there and it's by Inacfire, I think is the company but yeah they're, they're doing good oh, I should also say that I have my pass uh, in my bag as well so I have my Yves Saint Laurent I can never pronounce that um yeah Yves Saint Laurent uh, lipstick and it's in the shade oh just says a uh, two two or nine maybe that is the shade I'm wearing it right now and I wear it all the time it looks a bit gross if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I am obsessed with red lipstick then I have the classic Burt's Bees uh, beeswax lip balm it's my favorite lip balm I get really dry lips and it's the only thing that she really helps them. This is a lot about me. This is also one of the great loves of my life. Antibacterial hand gel. Now, you probably think that nobody could be passionate about hand gel, but I am. Well, this is a foam, so it's special. Um, but this is just Eco Hydra. My mum has spent her like entire life working in hospitals, and I think this is something the NHS uses. Um, so she was familiar with it as a really good like brand of antibacterial things. Um, but it is effective against the norovirus, which not all of them are. And obviously, you know, you're only covered 99.9. Um, but I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I always carry this with me. Okay, next, inside the bag. Where is this it? Oh, there it is. This video is actually a lot harder to film. Um, okay, I'm going to start. This is my work notebook. I don't bullet journal but I always pick ones that have dots on and I make all my notes I tend to use different highlighters I don't really have um, a theme like there isn't one colour for a different thing it just often means I've done it um, and I just tend to kind of split stuff up like by days and then I do have a separate one that I keep at work uh, which is just meetings um, because often I find that I need to keep this quite neat and quite organised because of why my brain is a complete mess and I am very much an on paper person. I don't really tend to write stuff in like Excel spreadsheets when I have things to do. I always write it down. I've been the same way at university. I'm, I'm just kind of like that. So often when I'm in meetings when it's really fast and there's loads of stuff you know you need to do or um, well just to jot down, I end up writing really, really messily because we go back to the fact that I've got not very neat handwriting. So I did buy a specific, like really cheap dotted notebook uh, to make meeting notes. Okay, back to my bag. This is my water bottle. They are cool hip, and um, I got it from Oliver Bonus. It fits really well into backpacks, even small ones, because of the shape and it's kind of flat. I should also point out that this thing here at the back is the seat pad, and then you have this kind of pouch, which is like, just meant for stuff so you can put it in and then way down at the bottom of that flap I have this this is um from Kath Kidson the Kath Kidson sales are my favorite time because they're really expensive otherwise um but this little pouch is just where I keep my tablets so I've got my vitamins in there painkillers galore uh if you ever feel ill come to my desk and I'll sort you out sanitary pads um, you know, these are a monthly feature in my life. It's also like discreet, even though I am not ashamed of like whipping out a sanitary pad because I bleed. Um, but it is sometimes nice if you just kind of want to go, you know, into the toilet. What my mum would call uh, ladies articles. Then I have my purse, again, Kath Kidson sale. Um, I got this purse before I got the bag, but you can definitely tell what like my favourite colour is, um, or one of them. My favourite colour, by the way, is like duck egg blue, teal, and also this kind of like mustard colour. I did just have a card holder, um, but I actually invested in a proper like wallet. Um, I just think it's really sleek and it's big, but yet yeah, still looks really pretty. I have a lot of loyalty cards, including boots, which I think is amazing. Really, really good like points. My, I did have Waterstones card, but now they've gone all like electronic, which is great. Um, and if you haven't signed up for the Waterstones card, please do because you actually get a lot more for your money now. You can totally tell I'm an ex bookseller. Um, I've got various like gift cards, um, fat faces, the one my dad gets me, paper chase. I've got an IKEA family card because that's the way I live my life. 
Um, yeah, mainly boots, accessorise, oh, and the body shop. I really like it because it's got lots of different pockets for stuff, place to put notes, not that like, I never carry notes anymore. Um, and then, you know, a little thing for your coins. Next we have a book. Um, I picked this up for work, slash stole it, because HarperCollins publishes uh, Philip Gregorio did. Her most famous novels are Purge of HarperCollins, um, and I actually know the editor, which I always kind of like slightly geek out whenever I go near her. She doesn't know that yet. I hope she never does. But I picked this up because I don't know if you've seen, if you have like Amazon video, there is a new adaptation of this book called The Spanish Princess. I think it's on stars or something, you have to pay extra. Um, but I loved Philippa Gregory when I was growing up. I can't remember actually reading this one because I was all about Anne Boleyn and kind of just ignored Catherine of Aragon. Um, I'm almost certain I did because I, I have read all of them, uh, but I don't remember it, so I picked this up because I kind of want to read it and just have a bit of escapism and then I want to escape to the series. Next is my Kindle. This is just a case from Amazon. I know Amazon a horrible company, but I'm sorry. Um, oh no! <laughs> I forgot this happened, so I must keep this out of my bag so I'm charging up. I can't remember which model this is. Um, but it is the Kindle with no backlight. Um, it is amazing. I love it. I use it all the time when I'm commuting, on my lunch break. I've talked about my love of my Kindle in another video. Um, and I know for a lot of people it's love-hate and I get it with Amazon. But I really love reading on a Kindle so I need to charge this up so I have stuff to read tomorrow. Next is my lunchbox. This is a stainless steel lunchbox from Black and Blum. Um, it has like a little separator inside it. Um, if you're really interested, today I had um, ham, pita bread and a slaw. I am really bad at buying lunch out but I'm trying really hard. Um, in fact, I haven't got much choice because I can't afford to buy lunches, <laughs> lunches out. Um, so I'm bringing lunch to work and this just makes it easier and it is um, dishwashable as well which if you're lazy like me helps. Next is something I don't normally have in but it's a very front port um, like issue of the TLS. I only picked it up because it had a piece on the French Lieutenant's Woman by John Fowles um, and I kind of wanted to do, I want to do an MA or a PhD um, and I want to do it on neo-Victorian novels. Uh, that may never happen, but I just really like it and I found it interesting and so I highlighted stuff on my lunch break. Two pieces to go. Um, a book. I am a very indecisive person and so even though I have my Kindle which has loads of books on it, um, I nearly always bring a book with me as well. Often quite a short one. Um, and this is a book I picked up in Cambridge yesterday and it's How Proust Can Change Your Life by Alain de Botton. I'm only a couple of pages in because I was on Instagram instead of reading on my commute. But it's good so far so I'm going to keep that in there for tomorrow. And then I have my phone. Uh, my phone is the Kindle... No it's not my Kindle... No, what is it? I'm really tired. My phone is the Apple iPhone 8 Plus. When I'm commuting, I'm always on Duolingo. So if any of you play play Duolingo, any of you learning languages on Duolingo, let me know. We can follow each other's progress. Um, but yeah, I normally spend a lot of time on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram for work and also for myself. Um, and if I'm not doing that, I'm on Audible, listening to audiobooks because I'm obsessed again. So even though I bring like loads of books with me and my Kindle, I still will probably pick up an audiobook after all of that. So that is my What's in My Bag work edition. Um, I hope this was vaguely interesting. Probably not, but I've always wanted to do one, so I did it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like my videos and want to support my channel, please uh, tip using coffee. Thank you.